Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video we are going to be doing the support local business contract. And I thought this just looked really cool right here. I don't know why this angle just... I think the truck looks awesome just how it is with the orange and black. But anyways let's get into it. So we are going to be doing support local business. We need a metal beams, an oversized cargo, and a service spare parts. So my plan is pick up the service spare parts, then go get the metal beams, drop those two off, and then recover. Or I guess I could just drive up another truck. That would work too. But I have another Kenworth sitting over there at the trailer store that I was messing around with. Let's grab service spare parts. Okay. But yeah, you guys um, might want to keep an eye on the fuel consumption. I don't know if we're going to collide. Okay, we're good. Um, just, you know, because everyone's kind of wondering what is the fuel consumption on a truck like this. And, uh, you know, we're, we're, we got all-wheel drive on. And we're in some pretty deep water. We're low to mid-30s. So... It has a huge fuel tank, but I don't think it's going to last all that much longer. It's going to be kind of like average, uh, you know. We do have a roof rack as well, if you guys haven't seen the videos about the customization options and possibly the like weird combinations you can have. You guys can check those out, but uh, yeah, we got 71 inch tires. So they don't even uh, get covered by the water right here. But if you look at our fuel, it took us 60 liters to go over there and back. So, you, you can say it's uh, not very fuel efficient, that's for sure. Oh, and you know what? I guess I can try out that combination I was talking about in uh, one of those videos. We can put the fuel tank on it and drive it up with a saddle low, or excuse me, saddle high, and bring the oversized uh, cargo with us. So let's stop here. We need metal beams. And we're staying on the left side of the river, so that's actually the combination I was talking about. I'll have to bring that truck back to the garage and customize it quick, just because uh, it has the tires that are basically made for sand. But I'm kind of curious. Let me know in the comments, you guys, what is the highest fuel consumption that you guys see in this video? I thought I just saw a 38. I could be wrong. But the highest that I saw in the last video when I recorded was 37.9. And I was just uh, bringing some logs up, a, or actually down a hill. I was driving up the hill empty and down the hill loaded. But yeah, the, the uh, right side of this river here that we're on, um, there's, I'm trying to think, one, two, three, I think... I think it's three, it might even be four um, bridges and rock slides. So actually, let me see if I can get a view of it over there. Not really. How about now? Um, yeah, it doesn't look like it, not quite yet. In a little bit here. Okay, there we go. We can start to see the bridge right here. This is out. That's the first... Oh, nice. That's the first blockage. And then on the other side of the watchtower, there is another one. I don't know if we can see it. Or wait, no. Sorry, I, I, I'm mistaken. That's the first one. There, there is no other one on the on the other side of that watchtower. It's up in front of us here. It's right here. I'm pretty sure. And then there's a third one further up. But yeah, I uh, basically don't use that road yet. That road is more highway. You know, I mean, obviously it's got bridges. It looks like it's got a nice tar road going up there. I have drove on it one time where I sidestepped all of the rock passes and just dodge the bridges except until I got to the very end one because you can't really dodge that one. What do I got here? What is this? 
Oh, 114 SD, I have no idea why that's there. Actually, you know what, I think I do. I think I was driving it out because I was having such... Oh! Oh! Um... I think we got ourselves in a predicament. And there's nothing to grab onto. Okay, well... I should have stayed either further up or further down, not right in the middle. So some of you guys may remember from a few videos ago, well actually, as, uh, as of I'm posting this, I haven't posted that one yet, so... Uh, actually, I haven't even edited yet. Uh, I think it's the next one on the list, but anyways. Um, I had some troubles, and as you can see, I got a flipped over dairy, I got a K7M, and I had this specific P12. I wanted to use this because I wanted to use the new crane, and I just kind of picked the P12, and uh, apparently this crane is super heavy. Just look at how how much trouble this truck is having getting its wheels spinning. And this is a, a fully upgraded P12. So I think this crane is like super heavy. But uh, yeah, we're just going to run this over there and pick up our cargo and hopefully rescue our truck. And we'll bring out the second truck here in a little bit. But yeah, what do you guys think of the Kenworth of what you've seen so far? Uh, it, it seems like it's a little underpowered. And I'm kind of surprised that I tipped it, but it was definitely me, not the truck. Are, are we really stuck here? So I guess if you guys are planning on using this big crane... Um, maybe, maybe don't use the P12? I mean, you can see the wheels are just kind of struggling the entire time. I, I guess I would probably recommend just using a normal crane. Because I'm, I'm sure they're both heavy, but this one's got to be much heavier if it's struggling really, really hard. I just figured this was the closest truck, and it also has a crane on it. And I don't know... Oh yeah, you actually can see. If you guys see way up here... I was messing around. I was trying to get a... Uh, basically a cool cool screenshot, right? And I was trying to get to like the top point right there. And I flipped a, a Taiga 6455B. And then I was like, okay, I gotta... I gotta Zix 612 Mastodon, pretty close. So I used that, and I flipped that one on the hill, trying to rescue it. And then I was like, okay, well, I got an Acteon. This, you know, it's not strong, but maybe I can go get the screenshot that I wanted. Or maybe I can flip them over. And then I flipped that, and <laughs> it just turned into a bunch of uh, trucks flipping over. I, I got a Dairy Special, and I had to unflip or flip back over. The, um, the Acteon, and then I went back up there and I flipped the Acteon again and I was just like, alright, whatever. I, I just used the Dairy Special and I tried to get the screenshot and didn't really like it, so I'll, I think I still have the Dairy Special up there. I might not. Let's see. Yeah, I think it's right here. You can kind of, yeah, that's, that's actually where it is. So here's the Taiga, here's the Dairy. Um, yeah. Let's see what we can do here. I mean, I, I gotta pull forward, so I gotta just kinda ride through this, I guess. Maybe I turned a little too sharp. But yeah, this path is uh, not great, guys, if you are wondering. I was wondering if we were going to be able to dodge that. Uh, as I was saying about the uh, bridges and blockages, guys, so there's this... Oh wait, that one looks like it might be fixed, actually. I'm not sure. But then there is one right over here. Um, that one's easy to get around. Let's stop this, change to this. Pick this uh, spare parts up. should probably get it out from my truck before I 
flip that over. Yeah. There. Actually, I can probably just reach this in there, huh? We'll see how far of a reach we got on this thing. If you guys don't know, this is a new grain that's coming in phase 10, and it does have a slightly higher reach. Not exactly sure about um, what am I trying to say? Not exactly sure about strength. I don't know if it's stronger. I'm just gonna try and pull off to the side here and uh, kind of park, hopefully somewhat out of the way. Okay, let's get get going, get the rest of the way there with this thing. I think the orange and the black on this thing is a really great color combination. Usually I kind of just pick whatever's the best one and I'm like, yeah, that's, you know, that's, that, that's the one I like the, the most or whatever, but I think this one looks really good. And uh, if you guys are wondering, this is a single spare tire on a three slot bed and this is kind of how much it hangs off. So you can see if you probably put a crane on there. Is that thing broken? It's an interesting way of having it. I don't know, is that how it's supposed to be? I mean, it probably is, but... Anyways. Yeah, we got to bring this across and over to that side, and then we got to do that again. Oops, put it in low. This truck can cruise pretty good in high, but it's kind of rare from my limited driving experience. But yeah, I think I'm just going to shut up here for a minute or two and just kind of let you guys enjoy the truck and the sounds and yeah, we'll uh, get back to you in a minute or two. Maybe watch the fuel or something. So I'm trying to think of what this engine sounds like, and I don't know. I know I know it sounds familiar. Oh, I would uh, let's see if I dodge that tree or hit it. Okay, I hit it. One thing that I would like to point out for you guys is the wheelbase, or not the wheelbase, the uh, the width of the truck. Look at how much these wheels stick out on both sides. I'm trying to get it kind of centered. So as you can see, it's it's you know a little bit over half the tire, maybe 60%, something like that. So there's a good chunk of tire that makes this truck actually pretty stable. And uh, there's another bridge out here. But yeah, this this might be the longest video I've posted yet. I'm not sure, or yet on phase 10. I'm not sure if it'll be the longest. I know I have another one that's gonna be, oh, that's my turn. It's kind of a, a sneaky little path into the woods here.
But if you don't have that bridge fixed, there's only two paths basically across this river. One's here and one's way back by the garage. Alright, I think we got to turn left here. I'm just going to push this trailer out of the way a little bit. Actually, I should probably push it even further because I'm going to be coming through here with a bigger trailer in a little while. And I'm probably going to want all of the turning room I can get. I think we'll, uh, we'll let this run. And once we get to uh, our destination, we'll switch the time back. Oh yeah, we got a fuel station up here. I guess we'll fill up. I don't know if we'll leave this truck up here or not, but at least we'll have full fuel or close to it then. Took a little bit more damage there. I forgot when you go into that, um, your truck just kind of keeps going, so... I guess I just realized if I really, really wanted to, I could have just pulled the 8-slot trailer for this. I could have had the, the fuel tank and an 8-slot trailer and this would have been 7 cargo, so it would have been almost full. But I kind of wanted to use the 3-slot bed just because it's, uh, I want to say unique, but it's not totally unique, it's just rare, I guess. But our uh, destination is just off to our left. Is it behind this building? I'm not sure. Looks like it might be. I was thinking it's further up there. But this is fine. Corporate construction site. Okay. Alright, metal beams, service spare parts. There we go. Okay, so here we are. We got our trailer. Let's grab the oversize. It's a good thing I didn't grab the drilling equipment. That would have been bad. I just thought of this as I attached this trailer, guys. This truck has... It's got to have the highest saddle, right? It's got 71 inch tires. And then there's like another frame like, I don't know how to explain it, but the, the frame of the truck looks higher than normal. Maybe I'm wrong on that. Uh-oh. So maybe this combination's not a good one. People were saying it's a little underpowered. I mean, we're moving, but... I'm not, I'm not gonna do this the whole time. Alright, so we're back. Let's see if this is any better. I mean, it's clearly better. There's a little less weight. So I guess that combination's not very viable. It's a possible combination, but it's not a very good one. Sometimes just because it's possible doesn't mean, or what is it, what is the quote, like, just because you could doesn't mean you should. So, just because we can have the fuel tank doesn't mean that we should have the fuel tank. Look at all that extra space, though. So, uh, yeah, um, like I said, when I just attached to this, I thought about the trailer height, or the saddle height. 
Um, I guess I'm going to make a real quick comparison video. And uh, it, it'll probably be out before this one, actually. I'm not sure. But this, this video will take a long time to upload. So that one might be easier to upload and get done quick. Um, so it's a satellite comparison and then also a, like, basically like a size comparison. Like, look at how long it is. Look at how long, you know, the Mastodon, the International Pace Star 5600TS, the Azov 73210, kind of some of the longer vehicles, the Western Star uh, 6900 Twin Steer. Pull out all those and just look at them quick as far as length goes. And then we'll probably look at the width, you know, compare it to the K7M, compare it to the Mastodon. Um, what, what other vehicles? Thick. The CAT 770G. Maybe the CAT 745C. You know, just do, com do, do some comparisons real quick. But I also want to bring out some normal looking, or I keep saying normal looking, I just mean, really that tree root got me? Oh, here we go. Now high gear is working. Um, but when I say normal looking trucks, I mean... Oh, you can see through there. Nice. Um, I just mean like uh, a heavy duty or highway or even some of the off-roads. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I don't know if this is... Uh a better path to go? Oh, okay, it might be too late. Okay, it's too late. We're not going that way. There is a path that goes that way. I don't know if it's better or not. But it might be worth a shot after the last time we uh, kind of flipped in here. Uh oh. So let me go to the left here. P12 is bouncing all over. Can't shift yet. There we go. We're in high. I'm not sure where this stacks up in as far as cargo weights go, but there's definitely heavier stuff. So, uh-oh. So it does seem to lack a little bit of power. Um, kind of a bummer. Hopefully it gets changed. Hopefully they add some more. So, oh, is that what the... That is where the road would come out. Okay. Like I said, I know I've taken it, but I... I almost always forget it's kind of... Like... Not very noticeable when I drive down. It may be for you guys it might be, but for me, I don't know. I keep missing it. Yeah, so I guess I'm uh, hoping they add a little bit more, make it a little bit stronger. Sorry guys, I got distracted there for a second. Yeah, I'm hoping they add more power. Don't know about you guys, but it seems a little bit underpowered. Maybe, I mean, I'm not sure what how the engine stacks up, like, compared to real life, if they were to compare the numbers, as far as, like, if you were to look at all the other trucks that are in the game compared to their real life numbers, how far off they would be. Or even if it, I don't even know if it's a comparison, but if you were to look at that and then look at this truck and see how much it can carry in-game versus real life. If it's uh, way less or, you know, if it's somewhat comparable. I feel like this one should be able to carry heavier weights, but it might be... it's not designed for these areas. It's designed to be used in, like, the Middle East for, uh, 
oil stuff. I just realized how flat that is over there. Is that a... That, that is rock, isn't it? It would have been nice if I had the other route fixed, just to switch it up and go a little bit different route, but at least we're, we're getting different add-ons, you know. And if you guys see that up there, it's kind of a flashing yellow marker on top of that tower. That's one of the contracts we have to fix, or do, or whatever you want to say. And I don't think you can reach it with the normal crane. I think you need the heavy crane for that. I'm not positive, but... I've heard you have to lift something very high in this phase, and yeah, I don't know if it's, if you can, oh gosh, 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 that was almost really bad. I don't know if you can do it with, uh, uh, I probably should have corrected this more, let me do that. I don't like where this trailer's at right now, so. Or actually, it's probably just my truck. My truck's just so long that it, it's it, it's hard to get across this bridge with that kind of a length. There we go. pretty close. Okay, now we're hitting the tree. I was wondering if we're... Oh, there... Uh... I don't know if I'm stuck on something or what. Oh, a little tree. I didn't see that one. Alright, here we go. Oh my gosh. Okay, we gotta turn right right here. And let's see if we can fit this through there. I think we can. There we go. Reset the time, put immersive mode back on. So now we can kind of enjoy the moment a little bit better, I think. Barely missed that tree. It's kind of cool. I should have checked how much fuel we used. I didn't really look. I still have the other truck over here. And uh, we, we could go to the fuel station and fuel up and see. Oh, can we make it? Yes. Nice. Okay. I guess I didn't need to go quite as wide as I thought I did there. Let's 
So I don't think I'll fuel this one up because it's not that far of a drive and I can take fuel from the other one and I'll probably recover the other one and drive this one back because this one's got the trailer but I don't know I think I'll use the other one for comparison videos after this like I said I think it'll be fun to compare it size wise lengthwise check out the high saddle see how that is So here's our other truck just off to the left here. Uh, if you guys are wondering, this is not the base paint skin or whatever, base paint color. The base one is basically all red and this one is red and white. This is one of the multicolor options at the very bottom. Uh, they have like a, a really baby bluish colored. I was wondering if we would take damage from that. Baby bluish colored one and then they also have like a pink one. and. I, I think there's one more, but I can't seem to remember it right now. Oh, bummer. Let's try and go up. And we're good. There we go. Let's get this delivered, guys. Another building going up. There we go. Wow, 17,050 for that. Okay. 1,700 experience. There we go, guys. So we used 310 fuel on that. But that is going to be it for this video, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe as we're trying to grow the channel. And odds are, if you guys like this type of content, you guys like content that I've made in the past and also content that I will make in the future. So, as always, stay tuned to the next one. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to watch another video, there's a random video on screen and another playlist. Please be sure to share the video, like it, comment, and subscribe. Turn on those bell notifications so you're notified when I upload. And until next time, peace.